Colby, tell me, what's the best thing that's happened to you recently? The farmer's market. Being able to come here and allowing myself to do it and seeing all these people. I sell pottery, jewelry, um, art, original, and some prints that, I, that are also original. <laughs> so how much longer are you going to be outside? Until about two o'clock. <laughs> no, I mean, what's what's the last day that the right. farmers market's gonna be I here? I think it's. I think this is the last one. This one is. Yes. Well, you picked a good one. I know. It's. A, it, we're having a lot of fun here. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Crayons. <laughs> I make crayons. You make crayons. Yeah. How do you How do you make crayons? I I take recycled crayons and then I put them melt them in the stove and mm. I mm. put them in molds and mm. watch them. That's fantastic. You know, I've never heard of that before. I mean, because yeah. I know the crayon, working with crayons, you know, they, they work down to a nub and they're not much use. Much yeah. use. So you can just, you recycle those crayon nubs. Yeah. Do you come up with new colors? Different colors. You check them out. Show me, show me up here. Different. So these are, these are custom colors that you made? Yeah. Well, I don't make the custom colors. They were recycled colors yeah. from different boxes that I've had. People donate some and so, I mean, they're great. They're great for Christmas, birthday parties. So. How long have you been doing that? I've just been recently doing this for a month. For a month? Yep. I also do jewelry. Um, I do silver rings, which are over here. Um, and I do different art. I just, I don't, it's just so much fun. Colors are fun. Probably finishing the main draft on my, my books recently because I've been trying to learn I've been doing a writing course and I've been learning how to write and I finished the main part of um, what I was writing recently and it was I was really excited. So you're a writer? The fiction or non-fiction? Fiction. What's the story? Tell me the story um, real quick. The story is a science fiction story about um, a school that has dinosaurs in the basement. <laughs> Rachel tell me about your tie-dye. Is it still popular? My onesies are the most popular thing that I sell. For the children. Yes, exactly, yeah. And I really enjoy it, um, like making all the different com combinations of colors. And I love when you, um, cause when you dye a shirt, you kind of don't know exactly how it's gonna turn out. And so when you unfold it, the, the co color combinations can be absolutely crazy. Right. Sometimes, especially when they blend right. into each other. It's really, Did you ever I think about making it. onesies for, for grownups? No. <laughs> Someone has asked me that before and I just, uh, I've never thought about it. You that. never even thought about it? No. I think it's a great idea. Thank you. Just imagine Farmer's Market, everybody walking around in onesies. <laughs> Tie-dyed onesies. I couldn't imagine that. It's a thought. You can have that idea for free. Thank you. First of all, tell me your name. John. John. John Ray the Third. John Ray. Yes. John Ray the Third. And what town do you live in, John Ray the Third? Center Rutland. Center Rutland. John, what's the best thing that's happened to you recently? Well, I still have my health. That's good. It's a good thing. Uh, my business is doing well. That's good too. My kids are doing well in school. You know, I'm just happy in general. So you're a happy guy? Yes, I am. Yeah. Life is good. Life is good. Life is always good. Life is always good. And snow's coming soon. That's good too. Yes, it is. More money. I have found out I have relatives dating back to the 1500s from Canada. Oh my gosh. Living in in the 1500s in Canada. 11 generations ago, some of my great grandparents were the came in the first founders of Canada. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Look at you. You look like an Eskimo. You're all bundled up here. It's cold. It could be the cold. You're weather. still cold even though you're uh, to me. You're protected. Hold on, let me back up here so I can show you knitting there. <laughs> you're right at home. Wendy, what's What's the, what's the best thing that's happened to you recently? Oh my goodness. I don't know. <laughs> I can't think One, of anything. One, something. <laughs> About the cheese. Now you keep goats out there? We do. We have goats and we, I make cheese and yogurt and um, I love selling it to the public and um, especially people who have um, dairy issues. Right. They can't have other dairy, but they can have my right. dairy. Is that because of the fat content? Because the, the goat milk is um, healthier for you than cow milk? Goat milk is healthy. It has smaller fat globules, so it's easier to digest. Right. And goats are such sweet animals. Yes, they are. They're fun. I used to keep goats, and I love them, man. Yeah, they're beautiful. They're great. Did I just call you man? <laughs> Did I just say man? You did. That's so retro. <laughs> What's wrong with me? 